Welcome to math class. I am Mr. Dr. Professor Adams, and today we are going to be graphing ellipses, parabolas, and hyperbolas. First, we're going to focus on graphing ellipses. Step one is to get yourself an equation. So we are going to be using x squared over 16 plus y squared over 4 equals 1. Step two is to rewrite the problem to find the center point. So we are going to substitute x minus 0 for x to and y minus 0 for y in the equation. So it will be x minus 0 squared and y minus 0 squared. Then to find the center point, you take 0 squared on the x side and 0 squared on the y side and that gets you 0, 0 as your center point. Step 3 is to find the two ellipsis points on the x-axis. So on the x side you're going to take 16 from the x equation and you're going to square it over here. So the square root of 16 equals 4 so, your two ellipsis points on the x-axis are 4, 0, and negative 4, 0. Step 4 is to do the same thing, but on the y-axis. So, you're going to take from the y equation of 4, and you're going to square root of 4. And the square root of 4 is 2. So, on your y-axis, your two points are 0, 2, and 0, negative 2. Now, you can just graph your five points. Right here is your center point, 0, 0, and right here, negative 4, and 4 are your two x-axis points, and 2 and negative 2 are your two y-axis points. Makes a great, nice little ellipse there. Now, finally, you're going to find the foci using a squared minus b squared equals c squared. Now, a squared equals 16 from the early equation, and b squared equals 4 from the early equation. Now, if you plug it in, you're going to get 16 minus 4 equals c squared. Now, you're going to square root both sides to eliminate the square on the c side, which equals square root of 16 minus the square root of 4 equals c. Now, then you'll get 4 minus 2 equals c. And finally, c equals 2. So, your two foci on either side is 2, 0, and negative 2, 0. And now finally, if you see in your graph, right here and right here are your two foci on the x-axis. We'll be graphing hyperbolas. Step one is to find your problem. We are going to use the problem of, of vertices at 0, plus or minus 10, and foci at 0, plus or minus 15. Now, step two is to take a general graph of your problem. So, if you graph your vertices, which is 0, 10, and 0, negative 10, on the y-axis, you will see right here, point of 10 and point of negative 10. Now, you graph the foci at 0, 15, and 0, negative 15 on the y-axis also, you will get up here at 15 and down here at negative 15. Now, your vertices will be the point of inflection for just your general estimated uh, hyperbola graph. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, that's just a generalization, a guesstimation, and later on we will find the actual curve. Step three is to find b squared. So now you're going to use the equation of a squared plus b squared equals c squared to find b squared. a from the previous um, equation is 10, c is 15. So if we plug a and c in, you get 15 squared equals 10 squared plus b squared. So 15 squared is 225. 10 squared is 100. And then plus b squared. So it's 225 equals 100 plus b squared. Now, you subtract 100 from 20, 225, and you get 125. b squared equals 125. Step four is to plug in your answers into x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1. And remember, a is 10, so a squared is 100. So x squared over 100 minus y squared over b squared, which is 125, equals 1. And that is your final equation. And if you go and look at the graph, I will go back and look at this graph, that is your curve. That's how you find the curve. You plug in a Desmos, and that looks pretty good. Next, we will be graphing parabolas. Step one, find your problem. You have a vertex at 0, 0, and a focus at 
2, 0. Step 2 is to find the equation of the parabola by using y squared equals 4px. Remember the focus is 2, 0. The 2, or the x value, of your focus is p. So when you plug in 2 to y squared equals 4px, you get y squared equals 4 times 2 times x. So now, then once you multiply 4 times 2, you get your final equation, which you will plug into Desmos or whatever, your calculator or something. You get y squared equals 8x. So now, when you plug it in, this is what your graph looks like. It looks pretty pretty. Now, I am Mr. Dr. Professor Adams. Thank you for watching.